Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. I'm going to be doing a beer from a brewery but that I've been very much anticipating trying any of their beer. Uh, it is Alpine Beer Company out of Alpine, California. Uh, small production, relatively really you know local distribution out in California. I don't think they go outside of the state yet, but they were purchased by Green Flash at one point, so maybe they will grow and their distribution will grow at some point. But this is compliments of Carlos Guerrero. Thank you very much, Carlos. I do appreciate it. This is the Duet West Coast IPA by Alpine. You can see right there. Oh, some nice architecture on there for you. It is a 7% IPA. So, let's see. Probably will look exactly like an IPA when I pour it. There's a decent amount of head already forming from the pour. Yeah, decent amount of head. Um, super filtered, some nice bubbles coming off the bottom. Um, very orange, but you can see right through it pretty much. It's got a nice white head, like I was saying as I was pouring it. Ooh, yeah. It's a lot of floral notes in there, a lot of citrus. Very West Coast IPA-like. A little bit of like an earthy spiciness in there as well, but that's kind of slight towards the end. I'm getting a bunch of like orange, mango notes. It smells really good. There's there's a touch of a honey note in the nose as well, actually. The more I keep sniffing, some orange peel as well. It smells really good. It smells very vibrant. It smells substantial, like a kind of typical West Coast IPA, but it smells very clean as well. It doesn't smell like there's a ton of malt backing it up, but an okay amount of malt. Let's taste it. Mm. Tastes a lot like hop oil, um, if you know what hop oil is like. You know, just think pure concentrated hops, and uh, it's got a lot of that flavor to it. It's citrusy. It's got a lot of those floral kind of grassy aspects to it as well. Very clean the way it finishes. It almost kind of leaves your palate somewhat neutral. You have a little bit of lingering bitterness, but it's barely there. The mouth feels pretty medium. Not a ton of um, you know multi presence uh, for that you know thicker mouth feel in there. It's it's pretty light, like light medium medium light, you know something like that. Um, this is really easy to drink uh, IPA, a very tasty IPA. Hmm. I can see why everybody wants some of it. That is nice, very nice. I'm getting a little bit of that kind of earthy spice to it as well, um, a little bit on the finish. A lot of citrus up front, then the earthy spiciness. It's good. Um, let me see, uh, eh, Amarillo and Simcoe hops. Well, that makes sense, because I feel like um, Simcoe is kind of where that earthy spiciness kind of was coming from. So makes sense. Uh, other than that, nothing else all that important off the label. But hey, Alpine Beer Company, highly lauded, rightfully so. Nice IPA. If anyone can get it out there, I recommend it. If you can't, maybe eventually you'll be able to. So anyway, thanks for checking this out. If there are any beers that you want to see me try on this or hear me try on the podcast, uh, you can go ahead and send in an email, make some suggestions, uh, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. All suggestions are welcome. Uh, Carlos Guerrero, thank you again for this duet. I'm going to share this with the wife. She'll be very excited. Uh, goes well with dinner. Having Jimmy John subs. What more can you want than a West Coast IPA with Jimmy John's? Anyway, thanks everyone for checking it out. Go get yourself an awesome beer.